The activity in front of the Brooklyn Museum, not too far from our setting today here at the Barclays Center. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much. Last season, LeBron James set a career high in assists. And he said the assist has always been his favorite. LeBron said, it gives my teammates an opportunity to score. And that's what's always mattered to me. And that team first mentality is just a big part of who LeBron is. Kevin? Always looking to bring his guys with him. <laughs> Thanks, David. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Anthony Davis is out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Bradley in at the one spot. And for the Nets, Durant plays the four with Allen at center. Then there's Karis LeVert. Then there's Irving. And it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. Now here's Green. Back to LeBron. The feed now to Green. They shoot again. Trying to get open is Davis. This guy is a sensational shot blocker. Jared Allen twice on the pipes. Durant finds Irving. Now here's Levert. The pass to KD. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Green. A nice shot by Katie. Durant's got his team on the board to start the game for Brooklyn. Well, Kevin Durant's looking at the defender like, hey, if you're going to give me that, I'm going to take it. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Pass to LeBron. Lots of room. And there it is for him. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now here's Allen. He dishes it to KD. Good on the triple. KD's got five. You simply cannot give Kevin Durant any room to shoot it. And his consistency over the years is really what's striking. Bradley with the bounce pass. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Bradley. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Here's Irving, and Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. Now here is McGee, stolen by Durant. Outside Irving. Pass to Levert. And here is Allen. He kicks it to Irving. Off target with his three. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And with Kevin Durant recovering from the Achilles injury, glad we get to see one of the all-time greats back in action. No doubt, Greg. And KD is trying to navigate his way through one of the most difficult injuries a basketball player can face. But we know unequivocally this man will go down as one of the elite scorers in NBA history. That combination of size and shooting is truly something to behold. So why does LeBron James have the ball in his hands? Because look at that sixth sense. Wow, what a pass. Pass to Durant. No good from outside. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. They trail by one. Kicks it to Bradley. Back to LeBron. Outside Green. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Inside. 
and slam dunk by Allen. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis LeVert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Outside Brantley. The pass to Green. Five on the clock. Second chance shot. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And a tenacious rebounder. Coaches appreciate Davis's effort on the backboard. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the game here. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. Tied up with that one. And like the greats before him, AD has taken the time to develop all aspects of his game. You have to respect that. Now, here is Irving. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To the inside. Hell. And slam dunk by Allen. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. LeBron against LeVert. Now here's LeBron. He's guarded close. Dinwiddie against Green. From the corner, Davis. Davis on the follow. Davis has got seven. In offensive rebounding, really all about hustle. And with Davis, that's hardly ever in question. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. For Brooklyn, they've gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Irving against Bradley. Bradley with some nice D. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. It's stolen by Allen. Here's Durant, and then Durant with the dunk. Let's remember that that break was started by Jared Allen Steele. What an ignition. LeBron outside. McGee the pass to James. Count that bucket, and it's six points for LeBron. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Irving. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. LeBron outside. Oats it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. And really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. It's stolen by Davis. Three on three. It's Bradley on the wing. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's LeBron. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Irving passes to Allen. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, Kyrie Irving, if you're open, he will find you. This guy is a scorer, but he understands others have got to come along with him. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And Doris, last season for Kyrie Irving, really one of waiting. No Durant on the year to play off of. And then Kyrie's season with the Nets was cut short 
due to injury. Well, second surgery for Irving in the last three years. You obviously hope he and KD can stay healthy and try to revitalize this Nets organization. Irving is so excited about being on the court. The NBA misses him when he's not playing. Let's hope he stays healthy. The offensive rebound for Brooklyn. They've gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Hobbs it up for Jordan. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Pass to Kuzma. Howard trying to free himself up. He can't get that one. Brooklyn's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Irving passes to Durant. Harris outside. They grab their own miss. Chalk up two there. KD's got 11. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Outside Rondo. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. If he's one thing, he's efficient in the paint. Rondo really good with the positioning there close to the basket. Outside, KD. A three-pointer, no good. Prince against Caldwell Pope. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And part of an overall effort for Contavious going for higher percentage shots. At that time, working inside. Now here's Jordan. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Irving, good. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. The Lakers trade. LeBron dishes to Howard. Back to LeBron. Down low. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Prince. Outside, KD. Irving from long range. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Boy, Kyrie Irving shoots it with such extraordinary confidence regardless of where he is on the court. This guy is one of the most dynamic scorers in the league. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Howard. Outside Rondo. Back to Howard. Six on the shot clock over Prince. Trying to get open is Kuzma. And there's another one for the Lakers. Well, not much else the defense can do. They can test with authority, but that is the determination of Dwight Howard. Nice play. Outside Durant. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. The drive by LeBron. Uses the glass to finish the layup. James has got 10 points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Irving passes to KD. Back to Irving. Off target from outside. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Caldwell Poe passes to James, and they double up James to the paint, and it's sent back by P.D. Kevin Durant uses his length so well, and how about the timing to send that rejection back? Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Irving against LeBron. Irving, good. He's got 10. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Now here's LeBron. Ten points for him. And James throws it down. You can see it in LeBron's eyes. He will not be denied on that drive. On its way from Irving for two. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. James looking around. 
Here's Howard. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Hobbs it up for Jordan, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan, finishing end of the alley-oop. Nice. James fires from way outside. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Nets out in front. They lead by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And it seems like players are constantly changing teams. Here is Spencer Dinwiddie discussing the effects of that. As, as a team, as a unit, as a roster, we've had a lot of turnover, and so we're all adjusting and, and getting used to playing together and building that chemistry and, and, and that foundation. Greg Dinwiddie, one of those players who seems to adapt to any situation. I mean, he's versatile. Total team player will do whatever is asked of him. He's really emerged after being picked in the second round a few years ago. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Setting the floor for the Nets. Inside, we got Prince and Jordan. Kyrie Irving is out there with Luau, and it's Harris in at the three slot. And here's Rondo following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. To the middle. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right, you can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Harris finds Prince. Back to Harris, fires for three, and again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, catch and shoot, is that Joe Harris' specialty? I think it is. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Caldwell Pope, no good that time. Jordan with some nice deep. Harris against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Irving. Takes the three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Irving's got the lead up to 13 now for the Nets. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Here's Rondo. And he drops it in from the low post. Yeah, and Rondo, he's fantastic at staying strong through the contact. And there's the pass to Luau. Back to Irving. Lobs it up for Jordan. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Pass to Caruso. Back to Rondo. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And Harris, wide open, he shoots, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Harris has got five points so far. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball, and the Lakers call time here. And DeAndre Jordan, not the same impact center he once was, but he's done a great job of acting as a leader for this team. Well, you think about DeAndre Jordan's career, Greg, and over the course of time, he's played a number of different roles. What you like about what he did this past season is, even though in a changing role, he still tried to make an impact. That's called being a teammate.
so for the Nets, Jared Allen's checked in for Torian Prince. Harris Levert comes in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And then for Los Angeles. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Green comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Bradley subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And it's Davis with the jam. And all Davis needs is the right positioning. Once he's established, dunking becomes easy. Now here's Levert. No points in the game yet for him. Morris against Dinwiddie. Back to Jordan. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul called on Los Angeles. Well, DeAndre Jordan making his presence felt at the offensive end. Nice. The Nets shooting their first free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. Greg is a young player. One of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft. First on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And that's something he had in common with all the truly greats who ever played the game. Now here's Brent down low. And it's Davis finishing it off. That's the court vision of Avery Bradley. Remarkable how he finds these wide open teammates on a consistent basis. Dinwiddie outside. Lavert with a wide open look. Misses off the right iron. All by himself trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. Passes it to Bradley. Outside green. Pass to Davis. It's stolen. Here now is Dinwiddie. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It's Levert on the wing. The money from the wing. Levert's got the lead up to 13 now for Brooklyn. I love watching Karis Levert be assertive on the offensive end. The ability to rise and fire in the catch and shoot. The pass to Davis over Jordan and it's blocked by Jordan Dinwiddie outside pass to Allen launches a three here's Luwabu just five to shoot Allen kicks to Luwabu Cabarro from outside off the mark Lakers trail by 13. Bradley deciding where to go with it. Davis, and Davis throws it down. And this guy does it all. Davis is as complete an offensive player as we have in our league. Passes it to Luwawa. Dinwiddie left side. And he banks in the layup. And the Nets lead by 13. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. There's the double team with Allen. Pass to Caruso. Shoots the three. Allen with the rebound. Brooklyn's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Lavert the pass to Dinwiddie. It's tipped. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Brandon. And the Nets making a change here. Durant's checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. JaVale McGee's checked in for Morris. And LeBron's subbed in for Alex Caruso. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. The defensive awareness, the timing. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Ah. 
Here's Allen. McGee with the block. Out of bounds. Next ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. Just three to shoot. And here's KD for three. And the aggressive attitude of Davis on D makes him such a tough matchup. He's not going to give his man an inch of breathing room. And that was the difference on that possession. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Now the pass to Durant. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, we know he's got takeover ability. Kevin Durant is cooking right now. James outside. They kick it out to Green. Feeds it to Bradley. The shot will not fall. Dinwiddie with some nice D. Count that one, and the Nets lead has been cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Davis. Pass to Luau. Back to Dinwiddie. To the inside. Stolen by McGee. There's the double team with Allen. Bradley passes to McGee. Lakers passing it around. They get a hand on it. They kick it out to Green. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Green's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Then Whitty surveying the floor. Passes to Levert. Inside, here's Durant, and yes, it's good. Well, you see, if you're going to foul him, you've got to wrap Kevin Durant up. He's too good at absorbing contact and finding a way to score. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. Now, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. One shot. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. And maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. I think Kevin Durant prides himself on doing everything at an elite level. And really, think about how he's improved his defense in the prime of his career. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Three shots. Three shots. And the first one drops. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin, and, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in, but, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental, and I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Timeout called the Lakers. 